Good morning, everybody. I do believe it's like August 6th or something like that. So we are gearing up for harvest. We'll just kind of walk you guys through this here real quick. So first off, we'll start with the two-track. Um, the, the Jared's two-track got new kicks. We, want, we had these new tracks actually this spring. We wanted to put them on, but we uh, needed a bunch of bogey parts. And like everything else in the world, they were back ordered and we we're waiting for them. So that's when we realized that we weren't going to get the new tracks on for spring. Jerry was a little sad about it, but you know, he got over it. And uh, so anyway, all new bogies, new tracks, bogies on the inside. And uh, they also replaced all the bolts holding these cast weights on because these bolts were getting fatigued. Uh, just due to the two track is so rough and to vibration, we were actually losing these things. So this one here, he actually lost this spring. Broke off, started wheeling around in there on the last bolt and flew itself off. And then he drove over it, nearly put himself through the window. Um, he's lost this one as well. And I think he lost one whole set of these or something. I can't remember. There's something to it anyway. Uh, just due to vibration, um, it just fatigued all the bolts. So we got all the weights put back on. He's weighted back up to 57,000 pounds or something like that, whatever he is, with new hardware. And then another thing that made things very interesting for him uh, as he was moving this thing, uh, I think this summer, we we're taking this tractor to the dealership to get all this stuff done because we don't have time. These, which I believe are, actually, I don't even know what they are. I believe they keep your track tensioned, but uh, now I'm not sure. Anyway, he blew one of these things out, if not both of them, one for sure. one for sure punched it right through the old track thank goodness we didn't put the new tracks on this spring we would have had a hole we would have been replacing another new track and uh it obviously stopped this track dead when it punched itself through and then spun them in a circle and down the ditch you went and apparently that was quite a ride <laughs> uh jared was like let's just say jared's rolled the semi before i've also rolled the semi it was getting right up into that zone. <laughs> Anyways, as you know that we did the bogeys on the cart on this uh, 2000 bushel cart last year. We did all the bearings in here. Uh, the tracks, we hope to make another year or two. The tracks are getting worn. So this is the same unit it's always been for a long time, except we got new kicks. Then we got uh, the 930 over here on the medium Brent. Nice, easy pull. You know, the tires and the tracks, they both have pros and cons, but uh, if you were to rupture one of these tires, I don't know if you would have one for harvest. So that is definitely a con. And a concern. This one here is mine. Don't ask me why my engine compartment door is open. I think this one's mine anyway. I'm pretty sure it is. It's my, uh, my 690. This was a 50 foot head that we had on one of my ideals last year. Stuck it on. Put a new knife in it. Other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. We had to put new adapters on. By adapters, I mean, you know, to hold the header because the combine is uh, John Deere and the last one was a Fent and they're obviously different adapters. And it's not cheap putting a new adapters on and new PTOs because on the Fent, it was the big 1,000 PTOs and these is the small 1,000. But it's done now, so. And then since you're going to a 50 foot head on here, John Deere doesn't make a long enough auger. It's only a 20, so a 26 foot is their older ones. Then they had made a 28 foot option. And then we had to extend that another three feet to go to, I think it's 31 feet. Sorry, I'm not let me, trying to make you look into the sun here. That way you can uh, get your auger out past. You could probably do it with a 28, but gosh, it'd be very tight. And uh, I don't like being that tight. That makes me nervous. Headers and stuff for equipment for a lot of money. 
And this 690, I do believe to be dad's. I think he also picked up another 680 that we're waiting for. Um, you have a 35 foot head auger table on this one. And I think he still has that 45 foot John Deere flex draper, which he picked up last year. And then the 790s. Oh yeah. I think my older brother picked up another 680. So there has been some more combine pickups. And obviously on the 790s, we put the extender on. They have the good choppers on them. So these are the chopper that I have on my 690. It's just these spreaders. Chopper and then spreads them. They do okay. But over here, just go over this combine for a second. These are the premium spreaders. Call them the tail waggers. So it still has a chopper back there, chops it. But these uh, these bad boys are a lot better than those plastic fins. So anyways, we had these choppers on our 2016 combines that we traded off on the fence. And we really liked them. But they're not very common. So when you're picking up used 690s and 680s, it's harder to find combines with these choppers. Obviously, I put the hitches on. So that way we can pull our honeybees or the header trailers, I guess. Like my X9s also have those hitches so we can pull header trailers, which is a whole other pet peeve. So apparently the 50 foot John Deere headers don't have integrated transport. Really peeved me off. The 45s do, but the 50s don't. So if you want to get a 50, you have to buy an actual transport trailer, which is another $25,000 each which that wasn't planned, so that sucks. But anyways, moving on. So on the 790s, they put the, they upgraded all the lights. The same lights that's on the X9. Got a camera on the back, and then look at those little beacons back there. Like, I don't know if those beacons could be any smaller, but I don't know. Um. One thing we noticed right off the bat was your door, your tool door. Throw a little toolbox in there. Throw some parts, some guards, some sections. That's kind of nice. Um, again, all the X9 lights here will take a peek at the cab in a second. There we go. So the same lights as with the in, what's in the X9 cab, I do believe. Now, yes, that is a 3,000 receiver. It should come with 6,000s, but everything's so backlogged, they just gave us 3,000. We're just thankful to have a 3,000. We're thankful to have GPS. Crazy. Oh, and the last combine's just showing up now. Awesome. Well, anyway. Still the S series cab. The cabs are different from the X because you don't have that storage down here. Remember, you don't have those extra cup holders over here. That's the Honeybee monitor, but we should still have another monitor up here, just like in the X. But uh, that isn't coming this year, just due to everything's back ordered. So we won't have any cameras and any of our returns, which is fine. Don't need them anyway. Um, the console. And the 4600 here, that's all the same. I do believe programmable joystick. You guys already know all that. Yeah. Fridge, a little bit different. This is a little wider fridge, I do believe, than what's in the X. The X is a little narrower. So, yeah. We're stoked, you guys. We're looking forward to harvest here. So, we're gearing up. We're hoping to start here uh, this week. Oh. They stuck mirrors here. These little mirrors, so that way you can see up to see how full you are. That's new. That's awesome. Okay. All right, anyways. Um, we're gonna be running, we're gonna be running eight combines down here at the South Farm and one up north. So down here will be one X, three S790s, those will be new and four 
used six series. Two of those would be nines, 690s. Other two would be 680s. The majority will be on 50 foot heads, honeybees. Also have some 35 foot heads, auger tables, and 45 foot John Deere Draper headers. And I'm sure you guys are like wondering why don't we just get more 50s? Well, I have about 200 and some thousand reasons. Okay, there's no crop out there. So uh, we will not be running all 50s. And I know you guys have more questions and I'm gonna hopefully answer them. Once I get in a combine cab and, uh, you know, kind of make myself at home in there for the next month or so, hopefully I can do more videos and uh, answer more of your guys' questions. But right now we're just kind of running around with chicken with our heads chopped off here, just trying to get coordinated and trying to get ready for harvest. And I think we're just about there. So that's good because I think we're going to go combine in here uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. So adios, guys. I'll catch up with you later. I know, I'm back. I'm working on the X9 here right now. I'm trying to put a two-way radio in it. And I found something cool. Anyway, on the two-way radio, we run Kenwood radios. Not saying that uh, they're the best or anything, but we have so many of them that we can't stop running them. So anyways, John Deere has their own mounting brackets for right here. But even in their most narrow position, it's still too narrow for the Kenwood. No big deal, I just run the Kenwood's mounting bracket. And I got to use John Deere's hardware, so that way I didn't have to put any uh, new bolts or uh, uh, screws or anything into the uh, plastic. So that's all going pretty well. And that's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you is this. When I was up here, I'm like, I should probably close the door, you know, when I'm going to and fro the shop. That way I keep dust out of the cap. Well, I didn't quite close the door. Soft closed doors. This thing's got soft closed doors. <laughs> soft closed doors, who would ever thought? Anyways, um, I look forward to learning with you guys. You guys know that that's how we roll. I do believe that they are supposed to send a guy out here uh, to kind of show us how to run everything. <sighs> do we even need that though? Like, come on. Trial by air, how hard can it be? Of course, yeah, I, might, I might go like three years before I find something. I'll be like, oh, I didn't know I had this. <laughs> oh man, that's still gonna happen even if they do come out. Anyways. I'm going to let you guys go, and uh, you guys have yourself an awesome one. Adios.